All right, my friends, if you're watching this video, the latest Boston Apparel drop is now live. Right now, first link down in the description box below, we have eight new shirts. Two of the Fast Cars and Freedom, two Turbo Rose designs, two of the Miami Vice design, this guy right here, which is the Black Drip V, and then we have the She Bent shirt, we have the Snow Camo Windbreakers, and we have the Urban Night Camo jackets. Every single order placed today will receive not only a free jet tag or free air freshener, but because of the hassle yesterday, and I, and I deeply apologize for any inconvenience that issue caused you guys. Every single order placed today is gonna get cash, money, free money in their order. Anywhere from 100, anywhere from one to $100 in every single order. If you wanna help support the channel, this is the biggest and best way to help support the channel, help support what we do here. Your support never goes unnoticed. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I would not be where I am with all these cars in life and anything without the support of you guys. I appreciate it. Within about 15 minutes yesterday, 70 to 75% of all the product was gone. So if you guys want anything, first link down in the description box below. If you are in the domestic United States, every order over $100 qualifies for free shipping. If your order contains a she bent shirt, you automatically get entered in to win one of the old rods and pistons out of Rose's motor. If there's anything you guys want signed, make sure you leave a comment in the order comment section. That is the only way we are able to sign your stuff. First thing down in the description box below, long story short, what exactly happened yesterday? I'll make this short and sweet. Launch went live, launch went very well, so well to where we had traffic issues on the site. The website was not built well enough to handle it. One of the bugs that the site had was people were adding things to their cart and then they'd go to check out and it'd be a completely different size in their cart. We had hundreds of emails right off the bat. Our biggest fear was people were not checking their email so they would receive the product that they thought they bought and they would receive a different size because something on the site on the back end was so messed up to where it was just, everything is messed up. I had to make the final decision that we are canceling every single person's order from yesterday. We are starting fresh, starting from scratch. Site is fully restocked. Like I said, every single order from yesterday was canceled. You guys know that if you ordered because we emailed each and every single one of you guys. Developers worked on the site overnight. Site's fixed. The site is now ready to go. Today is going to be a the very, 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 very last day that we paint anything for the STI hatch. So quick little rundown of what we have to paint. We gotta spray that rear bumper, just parts of it. Almost like we re-cleared the whole entire thing, but just a few parts of it need some color. We have this grill, which I sprayed it white, and I think I'm gonna spray it black. I think black's gonna look a lot, a lot better. And then we have these three wide body panels here that we need to do a quick sand on and then spray those guys out and last but not least there was one wide body panel on the car that we did not get proper coverage on and it's not a huge deal but i'm gonna go ahead being that we're already painting i'm gonna go ahead and pop it off and we can get that guy painted as well we will be setting up the booth in the shop again the inflatable paint booth that we own it's far too cold outside to be doing even be thinking about painting outside so we got to pull out five cars real quick drag that sucker in here and get it blown up i'm sure it's gonna be a little bit wet inside so kind of let it let it air dry and in the meantime, we can get everything prepped out for paint.
so we're outside right now, chilling with all the cars, getting these pieces prepped out. There are some panels that are gonna need a, just a touch of glaze. Like there's some, uh, you see those, all that black right there, that's all low spots. And they're actually pretty low. And then any other black dot you see is just a little pinhole. I always seem to have pinholes in, in uh, my fiberglass work. So thank goodness for glaze. Panel number one is ready for glaze. Let's finish up the other two wide body panels. Let's do some light work on these bumpers. So the front, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do with this grill, okay? So the grill is gonna go black. I'm debating keeping this section up here white because when I when I pop the hood, I don't want it to be like black and white underneath the hood, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense or not. Because this is gonna stay white, of course, back here on the bumper itself. So I may mask off on this line here, keep that white, do from here down black. I just don't want to make the wrong decision and then on the bumper as well being that this grill is going to go black that has to go black behind the grill so pretty much let me pop this off let's do we're going to do from like right here all the way to up here all that's going to be sprayed black in there because white behind the grill it did not look good whatsoever i wish i would have realized this before i painted this bumper but it's not a big deal Honestly, I don't mind redoing little things like this. I just gotta figure out what I wanna do on this on this grill. If she bolts on like that. Hmm. I think I'm gonna mask it off. Keep that white, spray this black from this line down. It's all going black. And I think that should look a lot better. So let's grab some scotch bright and get that part on the bumper scuffed up. And then on the rear bumper, this thing is gonna be really, really nice now, especially from where we started. I know I feel like I've said that before, but Last time we had it on the car, it was it was decent. There were just a few little things that we missed, and now it's going to be really nice. So I'm excited for that. What's up guys, coming at you from the bathroom of the shop. It is so dang loud out there with those blowers going holding the booth up. So I figured I'd just jump in here real quick. We're spraying of course black and white today. So I'm gonna spray all the white parts first, all the base coat. And then as soon as that is, as soon as we're done spraying white, I'll go ahead and pull those parts out of the booth, bring in the black parts, spray the black, as soon as that's dry, bring everything into the booth and go ahead and spray it on the clear. No need for any sort of sealer today. We should be good there. So let's hop in and uh, start spraying out some Aspen White. I believe this is the color we're spraying. It is Aspen White.
And a few hours later, we are all finished up painting. Parts turned out really nice. I'm getting, I'm, I'm gonna be a little, uh, hmm, what would you call it? Would that be called cocky? I don't know. I'm getting better at painting. Definitely getting better at painting. Here's the rear bumper. This section up here is the section that we fixed. Looks really nice. Front bumper, this is gonna look so much better with the black grill. Hopefully I've made the right call on that white part up top. I guess we'll see when we put the car together. I never explained this wide body panel, but this edge right here was a little bit dry and kinda, you could see the sealer. So decided to go ahead and respray that panel. That turned out nice. Rear bumper piece. And last but not least, the two front bumper extensions. I'm really stoked with how everything came out. I'm gonna pop back here to the shop in the morning. Holy crap, it's cold in here. Let's turn up the heat a little bit. Let these parts dry. I'll pop back here in the morning. We can get some parts installed back onto the STI. And you wanna know something cool? We're done painting. We're 100% done painting this car. We're not, we're not painting anymore at all. I promise. Cause I'm sick of it. I'll see you guys in the morning. It is the following morning. Taking a look at the parts now. These things turned out really, really sick. Here's all the wide body panels. Rear bumper extension that we had to add in like a maybe half an inch right up here. Can't even tell that we added it in. A little bit of orange peel, unfortunately, but this whole car is gonna get wet sanded down, so we'll be all right. And then the front bumper extensions that we built, not from scratch, but almost from scratch because we had so much work. The amount of hours we have in these two stupid pieces right here is just insane. So I'm excited to get those on the bumper. It's only been, what, like eight hours since I sprayed these pieces out. So I wanna wait until we actually start like handling. I don't know, I'll probably throw the, the back end together and I might toss on the front and as well just to see how everything looks we should be all right and then the bumpers rear bumper turned out good i'm excited to get this right here on the car that's gonna be the biggest game changer it's that blacked out grill blacked out behind the grill as well i think it's gonna look really nice So we got the rear bumper on, that extension is on. The extension for this side, we do have the epoxy on one of these studs right here, up there somewhere. So we'll have to do that later on, but for now, we can just kind of mock it up and see how she's gonna fit. You can see how much better that body line is now. This thing's gonna fit really, really nice. And I'm excited for it. I think I'll finish up. It's gonna be one of the better fitting panels that we have on the car. That body line's gonna look really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and toss on the front bumper. I'm not gonna really mess with those much. I'll set them up on there just to see how they look without that whack body line that we had before. But I mainly just wanna see how the front end looks with the black grill. Now granted, we don't have the mesh in there at all, but that's gonna look so much better, guys. I'm glad hundreds of you suggested that we do a black grill. We do need to get those studs on this thing to kind of suck it into the body, but it's gonna, it's gonna fit well. It's not gonna be perfect because I'm not no wide body fiberglass expert, but coming from where they came, I think I'm gonna be happy with them overall. I was thinking, I was thinking as I was painting last night, last night would have been the third time that we resprayed this rear bumper. We have so much, not only hours into that rear bumper, but also like money and paint, money and materials. That stuff is not very really cheap, but third time's a charm, I guess. I'm gonna wrap the video up here, my friends. So excited and glad and stoked to be finally done painting the Sus TI. No more pulling out that paint booth. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out, my friends. I'll see you guys tomorrow.